always obsessing with the picture quality, the angles, um, basically anything that I'm looking at, the video aspect of things, to the point that I'm just completely ignoring audio, which sucks because if you're like me, if I'm watching something, no matter how good it looks and the audio sucks, probably just like this one right now, I'm very most likely to just turn it off. So I fully admit that it's one of my biggest struggles. I definitely need some help in that aspect and probably a couple others. <laughs> This is what you would call a shotgun microphone, called the Mic D30, made by a company called Synco. I'm not going to try to pretend that I know everything about audio, because I don't. So I'm going to treat this review as a content creator who would like to have better audio, but not being so knowledgeable with audio equipment or even the settings. But of course, I still had to do my own research, and based on that, I could tell that the polar pattern of this specific microphone should be that it captures sound that's directly in front of it. The sound that enters off axis, which basically means through the sides, should be minimized or eliminated because of the design of this microphone, or at least that's what the pamphlet said. It has a built-in headphone jack for live monitoring and a stepless gain dial. The idea for this is that you mount this on top of your camera so you can capture better audio. The double shock mount is a nice touch, that way you minimize any sound in case you move it around too much. It may seem a little bit big, but it's actually only about 85 grams, which makes it very light. So I apologize about the audio, please don't leave. Uh, I just wanted to show you what it sounds like without the, ca um, the microphone attached to the camera right now. So this is how it sounds like, and I'm about a foot and a half away from the camera using the built-in microphone on my Sony, basically nothing. And this might sound okay to some people, so I'm gonna walk back to show you how I sound like while trying to maintain the same volume in my voice. And definitely, this is what, maybe seven, eight feet away. And I'm gonna move from side to side to show you how it sounds like. So I hope that's a good enough point of reference for this video. Okay, so now you are hearing this through the Cinco D30 shotgun microphone that's uh, mounted on top of my Sony camera. Um, again, for reference, I am about a foot and a half away from the camera. I'm speaking straight directly to the microphone. I'll just move from side to side to show you how the audio is being captured. And I'm going to move back while still trying to maintain the same volume in my voice. I'm moving here to hear. Marco, are you cooking something? Sorry. <laughs> I'm making coffee. <laughs> My friend's making coffee. You can probably hear it too. So if you do, then the microphone is actually pretty good. Right now I'm in the garage and I know this microphone was designed so that the audio capture is best uh, directly when the sound is coming directly in front of it. But I noticed that when you're in a place such as this garage, for example, where echo is very prevalent, the sound is just bouncing everywhere and so the audio might not be captured very well, if I'm being honest with you. So as you can see, I am outside trying to record audio using this uh, microphone setup as a vlogging um, setup. And because I know a lot of people are watching this, probably considering this as a vlogging microphone. And you know, I noticed a couple of things. It's a little windy right now, and I, I don't know if you can really hear the wind that's coming through the microphone, but I already have the dead cat installed. And the dead cat is basically that fuzzy little thing that you put on top of the microphone so to minimize the wind noise. And I'm not really sure if it's working well. That bird is very loud, so I'm gonna take it off just to show you what I mean. If there's a difference, definitely let me know. I mean, Earlier when I was testing it out, it still sounded the same to me. So I don't know what, what's up with that. And so while it does pick up good audio, I think, it tends to still capture the wind noise, which I don't know why. I mean, this is a tester, so there might be some updates because I know this is a fairly new product from Synco. And um, I also noticed that you can still hear some of the background noises, like the cars passing by, even though I'm speaking directly to the microphone and by design, this microphone should eliminate any unnecessary sound. That bird is really annoying me right now. So there are situations when the shotgun microphone probably wouldn't be the perfect solution. 
such as this when I'm quite a ways from my camera. I'd say maybe 10, 15 feet away. That camera right there should show you how far I actually am. And in this case, a lav mic would probably be the best solution. The great thing about lav mics is that they're not really that expensive. And this one was also provided by Cinco, and it's called the S6 microphone. The only thing is you have to be mindful with movement because it's clipped to my shirt and every time I move, I might get a little bit of um, noise. So I've actually tried a couple of other lav mics from Amazon and they were a little bit more expensive than this. This comes in at around 20 bucks and this one's battery operated. The ones that I tried weren't. Um, and this one sounds a lot better. I don't know why. So I'm not an audio expert, like I said, but this definitely sounds better. And at this price point, it's actually kind of hard to beat. This also has a toggle switch, so you can switch it between camera and phone, just in case you wanna connect it directly to your phone and record audio that way. In this case, I have this connected directly to my camera. And I think this is a very good and affordable solution for better audio, to be honest with you. The only thing you have to really contend with is this long cord. But honestly, I'd rather have this than bad audio. So after the initial test, I was kind of disappointed, to be honest with you. So after the initial test, I decided to give this microphone a chance by putting it in the best situation possible so that I can capture good audio. Remember, I'm just a simple content creator who knows nothing about audio equipment. In my usage, this microphone works best under uh, situations that are under control. I also noticed that the gain dial in the back doesn't seem to be doing anything, at least for my um, initial tests. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong, but it does pick up good sound. Unfortunately, it seems to be doing it so well that it's picking up all the sound that's also around it. So again, take this with a grain of salt. All things considered, this is still priced under its competitors. So that's another plus. But if I were really to recommend something, I would definitely recommend the lav mic because at 20 bucks, that's a very small amount to pay to almost guarantee you that you will get really good audio. So although this microphone may not be perfect, I'm still able to get good sound out of it, which in the end is all I'm after. Before I end this video, I would like to invite you to please follow me on Instagram and also check out my podcast with fellow creator Chelsea Horn. Everything that I've said and discussed will be in the description below. And as always, please do take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again real soon.